All right, what is going on guys? Mizoid here. Welcome back to another Skyblock video today on the Space Realm. Guys, thank you so much for playing Space as always. And here we are starting off in our Iron Golem farm because you know, that's where we logged off last time. So you can see we have, I think we have 400, no, 320 spawns right here. And you know, we got it all set up. If you guys didn't watch this video, be sure to go uh, watch it. It's on my channel. It shows me like, you know, building this, finishing the UFO, all that. So um, yeah, and it also shows how the tier three hoppers work and everything. So yeah guys, we're gonna, um, I guess we're gonna warp out of here and we're gonna go take a look at the minion, you know, do the usual daily checks and then we're gonna get started on something new for today. So let's go over here. I don't think it, it's not gonna have any XP because, you know, um, yeah, there's literally nothing AFKing it. You guys know how I haven't unlocked my island yet. So I might just unlock it, start getting people here and I might just not care about like whether or not spawns get grief because you know it's gonna happen either way so you know i'm gonna just i'm not even gonna say anything i'm gonna just put this in here i'm gonna is welcome it um i think if i place like this i think it's oh let me see i think if i place like this they should oh i don't have enough <laughs> whoops island level i have to island i haven't even leveled up this whole time so we're only 693 because we haven't placed any valves really welcome all right so is warp mesoid Okay, I don't know if like it matters how I place it for how I warp. I think it does. I oh, know it just spawns straight down. All right, so you guys can see we have our little our little sign right here, and now they oh is locked. It's unlocked. All right, so we'll, we're gonna see if you know people will notice and start coming. Okay, I just noticed this. Nope, there needs to go to stone right here. Um, oh my god. Okay, so I'm thinking we should figure out how to or like where to put our valves. Maybe we can put them inside the ufo somewhere let's uh just head on over here so literally guys uh to get to the ufo just walk in here i actually mm, <laughs> yeah uh this is where okay yeah i'm gonna block this up because now that it's unlocked i don't really want people going into the looting area i would rather them go into like the main part of the ufo because the looting area they can easily 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 grief the hoppers and you know to make it somewhat challenging like there's no need for that so i'll just put like a little hole right here um and yeah i can put like a ladder or something all right yeah let's just do that so i'm probably gonna like make some type of design that looks good for valuables but i could just start placing them to be honest like over here we made this little thing and i don't actually know what it is i don't think there's anything behind here let me look yeah this is just oh okay this is easy i'm gonna place some valves right here so i'm just gonna start filling this up and yeah you know get ourselves some levels all right and all right done with that we can look through all the pvs again we have a couple beacons might as well just place them on top of the um and portal just to make it look cool all right take out the pv oh we have a boss that we could do which we haven't done any yet what are those blaze spawners we can put those in our blaze spawner because we didn't even know i had those pv3 nothing too special just minions and i don't think you have beef up oh we need to use the uh emerald generator that that guy gave us so let's so island level we are at 13,000 now just from all that so that's really good so i'm gonna head out right here and i'm actually gonna place the emerald generator somewhere so guys this emerald generator if you guys are new to the series the emerald generators are like super op and you literally cannot find anything better to get you emeralds to level up your island stuff like that so um i want to place this somewhere but i'm not sure mm, i don't know if i should put it in the ufo i'm gonna go slash is warp I don't think anyone's trying to even warp to my island, considering that they probably think it's not <laughs> gonna open up anytime soon. But um, yeah, it's actually open. So whoever's first, maybe we could do some type of thing and we can invite them to the island or something. We'll see. See if anyone actually tries and gets over here. Okay, well I'm gonna just expand this out a little bit so that I can, you know, have room for the generator. Cause guys, the generator takes up a little bit of space, not like a lot, but um, it's kind of weird how it places. It kind of places like to the right of everything. It's like a, I think it's a five by five so yeah i'm gonna place it like right next to the spaceship because it kind of looks i think it looks kind of you know spaceshipy <laughs> i don't know if that's really a good way to describe it but yeah if i put it like right here i think it's gonna oh it's like the corner oh okay there we go that's good enough all right so yeah you guys can see how big it is and it takes 30 minutes to actually build so um yeah and then that guy also gave us charms and i'm gonna show off these in a little bit so with this add pages which i'll explain later and the generator charm so yeah guys um I'm probably just gonna let this build for a little while and I might bring you guys back when it's done or if like I, I do something else because uh, I think this video is gonna be centered around the generator and upgrading our island level. So yeah guys, I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Guys, I think this was the first one to warp to the island. I was like AFK for a while 
I was on Twitter and stuff, and I didn't see who that was. He said, what is a generator? <laughs> that was him. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I think he got scared. He thought I was going to, like, ban him or something, kind of like last map. But no, we're all good. We're all good. The, you know, the island's open for everyone. All right, looks like we have someone uh, right here. Des Desksman. Hello there, sir. Does he not see me? Hello there, sir. Not really sure what's going on. He's just looking around. Yeah, I guess he's been here for a little while. I saw him appear out of nowhere. But anyways, guys. Oh, the generator's actually done. It literally just finished while I was, you know, building this tower here. So, guys, I want to show off some of the charms that you can use. So, guys, the thing is about emeralds, if you don't know, if you don't play uh, on my own mind saga, basically what happens with emeralds is they give you a lot of levels when you, like, place them down. Like, you see we have 13, 13 294 levels right now. If I place those, I think we'll, we'll go up by actually decent amount of levels. Um, yeah, you can see we just leveled up, like, I think that was 72 levels, if I remember what we had before. Um, so we went up 72 levels in four. So that's pretty good. So we're going to use these charms on it. So this one will upgrade the charm or like will upgrade the generator when you click it. So if I right click right here, you can see level one, upgrade price, two charms, next level is two. And so I click that and then it's going to use two to get to that, to, to get to level two. And then it's going to be three to get to level three and so on. So I can keep pressing that and we have level nine and we need one more charm to get level 10, which I believe is the max. So it looks like we can't get the max level right now. We're pretty close. And then these add page charms, I think you can use three on them. And basically, when you open inventory, it'll give you more pages that like they can get stored. So I think you can do three. Yeah, so you have three. So you can only actually use two charms because, um, yeah, just a total of three pages. So yeah, guys, um, that's basically it. This is almost maxed out now. And you guys are going to see how OP emeralds are. It basically lets you, if you can generate, which you can buy them on the store. If you get one, you're basically set for leveling up for the map for like as much as you want because it literally gives you infinite levels. Um, there's no way of like beating it or like, you know, getting faster results. If you have multiple generators lined up like that one map, I think we had four, like we were just filling up on emeralds. All you need to do is just place them down, do slash island level, and you will be just racking up the levels in no time. Like if we got an IS top, um, the highest level, what is that? Let me look at my 132 million. I want to warp there and like look at it. So slash warp, IS warp, move. Okay, they're online. All right, this is 300 gas. Okay, so it's buying gas spawners for 400K each. Okay, I, I want out of here. I want, <laughs> all right, we're at this guy's island. Oh, okay. Okay, he's got a lot. He's got some emerald contraption right there. He's got, oh, that looks really cool. A bunch of beacons and portals and Okay, he's got four little minions here. We should probably do that four instead of, you know. Oh, and slap. See, that's a good idea. Okay, okay. Well, interesting names. Um, we go up here. You can see the emerald, or I mean the beacon colors. They have a, you know, cactus farm as well. We might do a cactus farm because, you know, ever since, like, I've started using Schematica, everything's pretty, pretty easy. I can make a cactus farm with Schematica. Okay, they have a lot of end portals. You can see the diamond, sponge, which also levels, and emeralds. So you guys can see that they have more emeralds than anything, which is because... You know, emeralds give the most levels out of all the vowels, other than, you know, like, end portals and stuff. And I don't think sponges are the same. But yeah, uh, this guy's got a pretty good, like, island based on levels. Let's see. We go up here. Um, we got some quartz and villager spawners. What? I didn't even know those existed, dude. Wait. Wait a second. Um, spawner shop. Villager. Okay, there's six million. I didn't even know those. Wait, what happened? Okay, so they just... Oh. What do they drop when they die? <laughs> I literally have no idea. Okay, well, guys, we're gonna have to explore that villager spawner. I <laughs> never even knew that existed. What's down here? Oh, oh, oh. It's a shop. Minions. Yeah, we've never made a shop. We just, you know, we just do other stuff. Okay, um, yeah, this looks pretty cool. Wait, what's up here? We never looked at it. Okay, these are IGs. And I mean, at least no one grieves your hoppers. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think I heard skeletons in there. Yes, yeah, so they got, like, all types of spawners. These guys are grinding out. So, huge shout out to, um, who was it? Temp Band for showing me the island. Oh, he's saying TP. All right. TPA. Oh, this is the, um, the, oh, yeah, these are the spawners. So, these are a bunch of skeleton spawners, and they drop down to lava, where I think they just, they just die. And they automatically go into, I'm not sure what, where they go, to be honest. Oh, so yeah, I guess they just go into the hopper or something. This seems what it'd be like. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. So shout out to Tempan for showing me the island. 
All right, so we have a few people at the island right now. We had a little bit more, but um, I kind of went AFK to go edit what I had so far. So, guys, we're going to show off a little bit more of the Emerald Generator because I want you guys to know exactly what happens because, you know, we just got it. So, you guys haven't really seen everything yet. So, as usual, right-click, open inventory. You can see this has probably been going for uh, 10 minutes maybe, and it has, what, three stacks of Emeralds? So I'm gonna find a place to actually place. I think I'm just gonna place it up here just cause like nothing else is gonna go in here. So FP3H, I'll have to make it horizontal. And okay, so we're just gonna start. Ooh, yeah, I guess I can just do that. All right, we're gonna quickly place and All right, so IS level, that's placing three and a half stacks. And we're, what are we at right now? Three, three, six, six, IS level. All right, so uh we went up like 400 levels or so like 350 so that's pretty good for three and a half stacks so you guys can easily see how levels just keep on going up like just with a little bit of emerald so imagine like grinding out multiple ones of these generators always transferring the emeralds into chests getting someone to place them so you guys if you have your friends on and stuff all you got to do you know get emerald generators you will level up your island high you'll be is top like this guy and if you guys know is top they get a um where is it sorry i just saw something chat they get 150 paypal each week if you're on is top i want to tp him to this guy because he's the one Sh show me your island <laughs> okay we are now at mustafa's island he is is top one he said there's not really much to see he said don't roam around too much all right well um looks like this was like a cactus farm or something in the works i have no idea um that's just the original island these are just farms okay where is everything oh oh what is this all right um this is some type of farm let's go up here and oh oh a bunch of villager spawners okay we definitely need to get villager spawners what do villager spawners even drop okay that is a lot of that is a lot of stuff lapis roses <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, they got a lot of stuff. Look how many spawners this is, dude. 300 of like, oh, they're just a, that is a lot of spawners. I'm trying to see if he has some type of Val storage or anything. This is not all. <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> all right, so he said he can't show us all of it for competitive reasons, which makes sense because you know he's winning this contest. He probably doesn't want to show off everything that he can. So I'm, uh, I'm warping out. Uh, so he showed us, you know, the village responders and stuff. So that makes sense. He didn't want to show off, like, the competitive part. Because, you know, guys, it is serious money. If you're on top, you will get $150 each week uh, just by playing the game. So, yeah, guys, if you ever wanted to compete next season or you get to do it now, if you really, if you think you can win, then go ahead and get on. But, uh, anyways, it's not always about winning, just about the experience. So, guys, I think that's going to be it. I got I showed you guys a couple islands. I showed you two. One was F top or IS top, sorry, one. And the other one was just, I don't know if he's on IS top. But, um, yeah, and then, I, you know, we did the how to upgrade your island in a limited amount of time because it literally is unlimited. This will continue to generate forever. And if you get a lot of those, you know, <laughs> it'll be good for your island. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow with probably a Viper video. Or if I don't upload tomorrow, then the next video might be a faction video. But we, we'll see. Guys, I'm playing Vanity MC this Saturday, so you guys can go play that as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be it. So have a nice day. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.